So now, how I'm going to return the latitude and longitude for all this address all over the world? Well, I return to my web browser and I copy this example, the one I have manipulated earlier. Copy and I return to Excel and I paste it here. So if I look carefully at my API, I'm going to copy the first part of my API till address equal. And now, this string, I'm going to put it in the function web service. And as you can notice, there is only one argument expected by this formula, the URL. So I'm going to build my custom URL with some variable part, the one in a cell and also fixed part. So here, I paste the first part of the API and I close the double quote. Then, and I press ampersand to make a link between the string here and the content of the cell A3. And I close my parenthesis. And as you can see, it doesn't work because as you can notice here, the status is request denied. And this is because I forgot to insert the API key, this one. I return to the string here. And this time I copy the end of my API. So ampersand key equal n my key. I return to my function web service. And this time, once again, ampersand to make the link between the content of the cell A3 and my new string. And I press enter. And this time the status is OK. Very good. And you can see that I have exactly the same content as the one I have seen in my web browser. But here, what I want is not to return all the information in my API. I want to return only the latitude. And what is the code to return latitude? It's LAT. So now there is a new function called filter XML. This formula needs two arguments. The first one is a XML. So it's in B3. And what is the XPath? It's the element I want to extract from this list. And how do you write that? Very easy. Double slash lat, like this. Enter. And as you can see, we have five results. Why? Well, like that, it's not easy to know. But just let's copy here this address. I return to the web browser and I replace the example address here by the one I have copied. Like this. And how many times I have the value lapsed? So if I scroll down, one time, two times, three, four, and five. So we have the fifth element with lat in our document. So this is why we have five times lat. It's because it is present five times in the API response. But the one I want, it's this one, the one in location. So it's exactly what I'm going to do in Excel. Instead of just writing lat, I'm going to write location slash lat to specify that it's a latitude from the location section. And now I return only one. And I do the same for the longitude. And instead of LAT, it's LNG, for longitude. And here we go. And the job is done for all the addresses. I just have to copy the three formulas three formulas, don't forget this one with the XML. And when I copy down, I have collected 20 results with the API build with this address. And for each address, you have the latitude and the longitude.